Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, April 30, 2024. 51 degrees at 8.58 a.m. and I'm your host, Ba Kamal, and I'm a sinner. And I'm powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It is always today. It is always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. My needs are met and my wants are few. And for that I am grateful. It's a beautiful spring morning here in this bucolic dwarf. I'm sitting here with my brother, Prince and star Sullivan. My brother, Prince and co-star Max, is over there. My brother, Prince and co-star Michael, is on Audie's bed in the living room. And my sister, Princess and co-star Elsie, is underneath the coffee table in the living room. We've had quite a variety of wildlife feeding this morning. Mo and Millie Mallard were out there. We had a lot of blackbirds, red-winged blackbirds. Mr. Rabbit was out there. I believe Mr. Squirrel came by. And uh, city chickens, doves. Oh, it's a beautiful spring morning, and things are starting to smell fresh and green and growing alive and alive. The spirea leaves are getting a little bit bigger every day. We're going to be seeing leaves on these trees within a week or two, hopefully. We got some construction going on at one of the neighbors. Uh oh, Sully's on the move. Sully's on the move. Where are you going, Sully? We finished our morning readings and we're just about done with our coffee, but I'm thinking a nice coffee's going to be happening pretty soon, too, to give us some ambition. I woke about 6 a.m. on Audie's bed in the living room and Michael joined me and Laid there for a little bit and then let, let my loves out. Elsie, Max, Mike, and Sully all went out on the sun porch here at camp. Uh, Michael, Max, and Sully went outside. Elsie didn't want to for some reason. My sweet girl. <clears throat> anyway, we finished our readings. And there's a couple that we're probably going to read, and then we'll get into a recap from yesterday. I was really liking the meditation from the uh, 24-hour book, so we'll read that one. There it is right there. April 30th, on this day in 1967, I believe I had my first communion. Each one of us is a child of God, and as such, we are full of the promise of spiritual growth. A young person is like the springtime of the year. The full time of the fruit is not yet, but there is promise of the blossom. There is a spark of the divine in every one of us. Each has some of God's spirit, which can be developed by spiritual exercise. Know that your life is full of glad promise. Such blessings can be yours, such joys, such wonders, as long as you develop in the sunshine of God's love. I pray that I may develop this divine spark within me. I pray that by doing so, I may fulfill the promise of a more abundant life. I don't know, for some reason that really seemed appropriate this morning. Uh, with spring happening and life out there and things are green and growing and alive, and it's quite a contrast from the day, the gray day we had yesterday, the gray, wet, rainy day. Sully's back. Uh, this is from the Always We Begin Again book. And it is the, one of the, the daily thoughts I read. Oh, paramount goals. What is wanted is not that we should find ultimate truth, nor that we should become secure, nor that we should have ease nor that we should be without hurt, but that we should live fully. Therefore, we should not fear life, nor anything in life. We should not fear death, nor anything in death. We should live our lives in love with life. It is for us to train our hearts, to live in grace, to sacrifice our self-centered desires, 
to find the peace without want, without seeking it for ourselves, and when we fail, to begin again each day. If we adopt an outlook of confidence and trust and perfect our experience by care for others, if we live in the certainty that we are heirs in the providence of the outermost mystery, we will begin to change into the persons that we have the potential to be. In my case, that's falling apart, slow but sure. <laughs> and with that, we're going to take a break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I don't. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Oh boy. When we finished our readings, we're just about done with our coffee. We just made some espresso to make an iced coffee with. Sully's on the move. Maxie's on the move. It appears to be a beautiful day, a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Another thing I noted is we've got dandelions blooming. The little bits and pieces of spring are happening all around us. What you doing, Mackie? Come on, Sully. Come on. Look at that, Mackie. So anyway, to the 8 billion of you who were not tuned in yesterday, I mentioned it was my brother's birthday. I texted him with happy birthday greetings, and he wrote back thanks and then I texted that I was thinking of driving over to see our cousin to go do some shooting and if he'd be interested if he wanted to go and he replied back that he was in the airport in Juneau, Alaska back up to Alaska where he lives part of the year he's half time down here and half time up there so <laughs> and that'll lead us into what I spent my day doing yesterday, which was binge-watching the series Northern Exposure, which takes place in the fictional town of Sicily, Alaska. An old favorite of mine from the 1990s. We're just about through th season three. And we'll probably start on season four, but looks like we're going to get out or try to get out and do something today. The temperature is supposed to reach 60 degrees, and I'm itching to go biking somewhere. My mind is anyway. My body's got other ideas. I had planned on going and doing about five miles worth of cycling yesterday, just doing some errands, and that wasn't meant to be. The weather conjurers were right, and we got that rain that they promised us, every bit of that half inch and probably more. And uh, I did get out and go to the library and return a book and then picked up some things that save a lot and I conjured up one of my homemade pizzas when I got home and I made the crust and I made the sauce. I started with a can of tomato paste and first sauteed some a garlic clove and some butter, put in the tomato paste, added a couple cans of water from the size of the, added some cans of water from the tomato paste can, two of those, and then just put in a bunch of oregano and basil and black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some paprika, garlic, a little bit of sugar, and some black pepper. And it turned out really good. Um, the toppings on my pizza were jalapeno, black olives, green olives, onion, and mushrooms, as well as some freshly shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm not going to bullshit. I ate the whole thing over the course of the day. It was good. While well, binge watching Northern Exposure. Anyway, we're going to take another break. So anyway, on tap for today, we are probably going to get in some type of bike ride. i got to make some adjustments on my seat of my bike. I've got some knee pain and my left knee still is not able to take much strain on it um, as far as weight goes. I'm wearing a brace on it. Um, but to the 8 billion of you who are not tuned in, I mentioned I like to ride a cyclical bicycle because it's I'm lazy and I can do it sitting down and it is low impact and low resistance. And getting warm and getting moving takes care of a lot of the aches and pains that I have. Got some tightness in my chest, too. I'm wondering if I'm going to have a big heart attack pretty soon. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whatever's going to be is going to be, as the saying, song goes. 
So anyway, we're going to do a little conjuring in the kitchen today too. We took the, the, the extra mushrooms and onion and a jalapeno that we had yesterday and sauteed them with some garlic. Added in the rest of the pizza sauce and let that fester for a while. So today we're going to cook some chicken and uh, put that sauce with the mushrooms, onions, and peppers on that chicken. Maybe over some rice also. Have a salad. But yeah, we're just going to hang here for a bit and regroup and do some stretching and uh, get out on some kind of ride. I don't know which way I'm going to go. The wind is supposed to be predominantly from the west today. I might head up on a trail, the rail trail that goes uh, to the northeast of town. I like riding it, but it's boring because it's just a straight shot, but... It is springtime and life is happening and things are green and growing and alive and little creatures being born out in the forest. So I prefer to be riding back roads and gravel roads, but after all the rain we got yesterday, they're going to be mud bogs. So I'm going to need to stay on something that's fairly well packed like with good drainage like the bike path, the bike trail, the rail to trail, whatever I'm trying to say. Or ride on pavement on the shoulders. So... I think that's all we got. You got anything, Sully? Oh, he's on the move. He's busy. But yeah, we're just going to sit here for a while and do a little stretching and a little breathing. and That's about all we got. So, From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, grieving, Happy and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy terrific Tuesday and thanks for not tuning in.